Greetings everyone and welcome to the next video. This is sort of an off-the-cuff video. I want to talk about something that's kind of been bothering me for a little bit. Uh, this deals with uh, the, these rash of 4G, 5G uh, pocket modems I've been seeing advertised. So back in the day, before we actually had fiber at our uh, place in the Philippines, we were using a uh, cellular modem, and it worked okay. Uh, its cellular technology has improved a lot as far as modem speed goes since those days. Uh, now that we got fiber, I mean, the modems are sitting in a closet. I've taken them when we go on road trips, but they're a little large, so I decided I wanted to buy a pocket modem. So I started shopping around and I saw a lot of uh, no-name modems for uh, prices, you know, under a thousand, under 500 pesos labeled as 4G, 5G. And I said, hmm, that's interesting. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Bottom line, I found some of the advertising to be a bit misleading. So I just thought I'd want to comment on that for anyone else who's been thinking of going this route and looking at some of the ads. So as I said, I saw a lot of... Uh, 4G, 5G, or they were labeled 5G, 4G modems, and they were prices like 300 pesos, 400 pesos, 200 pesos, and I, it's just like, this can't be right, can it? Probably just me, but I, I was under the impression that uh, 5G modems, real 5G modems with 5G transmitters and receivers would cost a little bit more money. So anyway, I began digging into the specs for a lot of these, and... There's some interesting stuff I found out. And again, I want to say, I don't want to say the advertising is wrong. It can, I just find it a little misleading and it sort of bothers me. So I thought I'd put this together. Basically, if you're thinking about buying one of these pocket modems, pocket routers, pocket Wi-Fi, whatever they call them, and they call them a lot of things, the first thing you always want to do is look at the specs. And the best, bet is if you find no specifications for bands, uh, run away. Do the old Mighty Python thing. Uh, run away, run away. Because it's, they're not advertising the bands and there's something wrong. Now, some of these you're going to look at and they're going to say band and they're going to say LTE and that's all they're going to say. Well, LTE is 4G. It's not 5G. It's strictly 4G. Now, something else you might see when you look at the bands is you'll see B1, B3, B5, etc., etc. That is also 4G and not 5G. So, again, beware. If it is 5G, then for bands it will say something like N1, N3, N5, or, you know, or 5G. Pretty much all of the uh, sub-2500 peso modems I looked at yeah, they fell into this category. So what does it all actually mean? Well, I said the advertising is not really false, it's just misleading. So if you see something that's advertised as 4G, 5G, what they actually mean is it's a 4G modem that can you can put a 5G SIM card in and you'll get it will work, but you'll get 4G speeds, not 5G speeds, but you can still use that 5G SIM card and Again, for the majority of the cases, that's what I found it meant. So, technically, it's not wrong. And again, to me, it's just a little misleading. It should have said, yes, you can use a 5G SIM card, but this is only a 4G modem. Again, if it's advertised 4G, 5G, it's probably a 4G modem. It can take a 5G SIM card, but you're only going to get 4G speeds. 5G speeds are much faster. Actually, the cheapest modem I found pocket modem that would actually do 5G was around 2,500 pesos and it was a no name, no brand one. So yeah. uh, a lot of them for like 3,000 to 4,000 pesos that looked to be okay though. So you can look at this little chart over here, uh, whichever side it's on, but uh, I listed the actual theoretical speeds for uh, 3G, 4G and 5G and what you can actually expect to get. Uh, again, theoretical speeds they will advertise. Odds are you'll never see those. You'll see the average speeds most of the time under low traffic considerations. The speeds go up. But again, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video and point this out that uh, 
this 4G, 5G does not necessarily mean that the uh, pocket modem will handle 5G. Now, all 5G modems, real 5G pocket modems, should be backwards compatible with 4G. So, yeah, like I say, a little misleading there. But it's not really false. That's the thing. Anyways, thanks for uh, sticking around for this video. Uh, give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you want. Any comments? Uh, if you've had experiences with these 4G, 5G modems, please let me know in the comments. I just wanted to uh, point this out. And this was mainly for when we're, I'm heading back to the Philippines shortly. And this is something for the Philippines. I'm not sure about other nations or other countries in Asia. But anyways, for the Filipinos out there, magandang uh, tanghali sa iyang lahat. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.